What does it mean to be the greatest? Hey y'all, this is the Unexpected Wonder, and that is the topic I am bringing y'all today. Now, some may say that such a term as the greatest is subjective, and it can't be, it can't be determined. Well, I disagree. Look, man, here's how, here's how I see it. I usually say definition-wise, every term needs a definition. Look, every term, every label isn't just there. They have a purpose. They serve a purpose. Especially a term with this much magnitude. The greatest. And instead of giving y'all some pat definition, some some vague little cloudy, sugary thing, and then going from there, no, 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 no. I'm gonna break it down. Give the criteria for what it for greatness. There are four parts that I considered when I when I considered greatness and then I'll explain each part and then explain why something or someone might be the greatest number one technicality number two talent number three skill and number four impact now these four things and I had I had to make sure I thought of all of them because yeah, I ain't want to screw this, screw this video up for y'all. Look, like I said, number one, technicality. Technicality, and the way I use it, is efficiency. It's how well someone has mastered a specific skill. A specific, um, yeah, specific skill. A specific um, task of an occupation. A specific, um, the, yeah. The specifics of a certain act or in the case of um, entertainment, I'll use literature. How well, you know, someone executed plot, character development, um, foreshadowing. Y- y'all get the basics, the little things, the details, because details matter. The small things matter. For example, um... Since it's popular, LeBron James and Ray Allen. Why do I bring them up? Shooting, specifically perimeter shooting. If you know anything about basketball, you don't even have to be a Heat fan. But if you know anything about basketball, Ray Allen is arguably, he's either one of the, anybody would know, he's one of the greatest shooters of all time, if not the greatest shooter of all time. He obviously beats LeBron James in shooting, specifically perimeter shooting. Technicality efficiency you know mastery of a certain skill set and I guess productivity goes along with that just as a derivative number two talent talent the necessary now in this and I usually separate gifts and talents but in this I guess, uh, I, I don't want to say this. Do, do, do I want to bunch gifts up in there? Yeah, I'll bunch gifts up in this one. Gifts, talents, innate abilities. That's what I'm more focused on on this one. Natural abilities. God-given abilities. Okay? Stuff you were born with. You understand? Stuff you can enhance a certain, apti- a certain natural aptitude to it. Okay? Skill-wise. I mean, talent-wise, my bad, y'all. I'm slipping, I'm slipping, I'm slipping. For for example, how, how, who do I want to use? Who I want to use? Do I want to use somebody recent? Do I want to use somebody recent? Yeah, I'll use... No, no, I'll go to some of the greatest. Um, George Foreman, Muhammad Ali. Now, Muhammad Ali had KO power to a degree. But George Foreman... Natural talent wise was KO. He was a KO artist. That's what he was. His natural build. Now, of course, you enhance it, but his natural build. He was a big dude. He had a strong punch and he knew how to use it. That's getting more in the skill. But he naturally was bigger than Muhammad Ali. Um, and look at uh, counter punchers, okay? You look at Sugar Ray Leonard. And um, uh, and 
Floyd Money Mayweather Jr. Counter punchers. They're, they have natural build for counter punching. You know, they're, they're, one call them small, small, but they're more compacted dudes. You know, they, they're not exactly, I mean, they're muscular, but they aren't exactly the biggest guys. You know, they're not going to go in there and bang, bang, bang. They're not exactly the tallest guys, so they're not going to be boxing from the outside. But they have a natural gift for reading a fighter. Being natural gift for defense, you understand. Um, I'll go to some um, some fiction to for another example. Um, if any of you know the original Beyblade series, the original Beyblade trilogy, you know you had Tyson, you had um, I'm talking about the Blade Breakers, Tyson, Kai, Ray, um, Max. I'm not even gonna. I mean Kenny. I'm not gonna throw him. You know um, Tyson natural talent he had more talent than all of the other ones you understand um kai had some talent ray had some talent max had great defensive talent. but tyson one of the reasons why he surpassed all of them even though all of them beat him in different technical areas and probably different skill sets is because tyson had greater natural talent and he just built on upon that and after every loss he just jumped up same thing with Goku from Dragon Ball, the, the manga series, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball C, if you're going to go by the anime. Enough of that. Now, third point. What did I say? Skill set. Skills. Skills. Okay? Skills. This is the, I would say, totality of your game. What you, what the total package you bring to the table. Okay? And I used LeBron James before. I use him in this subplot again. Tell me Duncan as opposed to LeBron James. Two of the greatest players to ever play the game. Even though they're not done yet. We already know Tim Duncan's a Hall of Famer. LeBron James definitely made a huge claim for that. You know, two legends. Tim Duncan is more technical. You understand? You can, some people don't like it. He's a very good technical player. Very good, easy, the big fundamentalist. LeBron James, though, on the other hand, has a greater skill set. That's just what it is. You just look at him. He has the quickness of a guard. He has the power of a, he has the strength of a big man. He can, you know, he can shoot at a deeper range than, than um, Tim Duncan. He, he, you know, he can break somebody off the dribble. He does a lot of things. He does a lot of things. I guarantee you his perimeter defense is skill. He can't rebound stuff. He has a lot more to bring to the table. That's what I mean by skill set. He, skills can bring, you know, like I said, total package, the totality of you, um, of what you have. Um, another two famous examples, Tom Brady versus Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, I consider the greatest quarterback in the league. You know, he beats out Tom Brady. Why do I say that? For a couple of different reasons. I mean, what he does with the team he has, that's one. But in mainly in this in this sense, because of the category that I bring up, the skill sets that the man have. Tom Brady, I'm, I'm not knocking him. He just, you know, but he's not the quickest of feet. He's not the fleetest of foot, okay? Aaron Rodgers, on the other hand, is one of the best to do it running-wise. He'll move in and out. Aaron Rodgers, you know, he can practically go pound for pound with the deep ball. You understand? He 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 does the he does what you need. You know, he doesn't throw too many interceptions. He takes hits. Tom Brady does too well too, but he uh, he has more of an offensive line. You know, Aaron Rodgers he hits the slot passes. He can. He can confuse the defense. He can audible. I mean, he does practically the same things. Now, Tom Brady, it, you would say probably more um, of a football IQ level is higher, the same way with Peyton Manning. But that's about the only thing I can give Tom Brady over an Aaron Rodgers. The total, the total package, Aaron Rodgers wins at the end of the day. Um, and if I would use... If I would use... um fiction i'll go the same authors um the same author tolkien J.R.R. tolkien love him lord of rings versus the hobbit i know it's the same series but the hobbit is the prequel and i understand lord of the rings um is a whole trilogy 
put that in mind. But if you put any of the books in the Lord of the Rings trilogy up against The Hobbit, The Hobbit wins, hands down, hands down. Um, in some aspects, the Lord of the Rings books are technically better. But the whole package that Tolkien gives you in The Hobbit, I consider The Hobbit even a better story than the whole Lord of the Rings trilogy. And, I, and I've read both. That you I've read all of them. You best believe that. Okay, enough of that, and let me get to the last point. Impact. Look, man, how much impact has something had upon its genre, upon its medium, you know, the form of entertainment, because sports, literature, all that there, movies and all that there have, um, you know, they're all entertainment at the end of the day. When I look at this, you know, how iconic are you, number one? Number two, how well did you revolutionize the game or the form, you know, the form of entertainment, the genre that you're doing? I'll give us a couple of examples um, in this one. You would say, you would argue, say, Isaac Asimov is the greatest science fiction author ever. And some who don't know it is, you know, I, I can't, I don't know enough about the genre, but I know enough about literature to say possibly the greatest science fiction author. And for those who don't know, check him out. He made a phenomenal series, the Foundation series, the I Robot. Great book. It's a bun, It's kind of uh, episodic. Not not like the movie with Will Smith, but a bit different. Um, a lot of robots, a lot of, you know going in further and further in the earth's uh and then mankind's possible future you have um who else do i want to use do i want to use medium i mean i argue and say my top three greatest for different reasons but my my greatest uh actor arguably of all time is denzel washington i mean you look at you look at every single movie he's in it's bomb yo it's bomb like it's massively good he makes a movie you understand he um morgan freeman the way he he's along with james earl jones but i consider morgan freeman to me second grade arguably and um johnny depp's definitely in my top three johnny depp i use johnny depp especially up in here johnny depp yo johnny depp every movie he's in like you take the Pirates of the Caribbean series. This show is about greatness and possibly for the greatest. The Pirates of the Caribbean series. I mean, you had huge actors. I forget the ladies actor and I forget some of these. But I know Orlando Bloom. I know y'all remember from Troy and, and he was big in the L-O-T-R, the Lord of the Rings series with um, Lego Lost. But man, doggone Pirates of the Caribbean became Jack Sparrow's series. Johnny Depp series. Johnny Depp, he's done phenomenal in in so many different roles, yo. Like it's memorable. You understand? When I think of impact, I think you have to go. You have to go to two of the greatest. You know, to I consider greatest in their specific. And I and I'll use three. Okay, number one, Muhammad Ali. Originally cast script, Muhammad Ali. Yo. He was a worldwide icon. His fighting style was unique. It was. He he used so you know he made he combined different elements of martial arts. So he just transcended the the stereotypical boxer. You could even argue to say he was a quintessential boxer. He did everything for you. He he had the jab that was on point. That thing was fire. You know, he had the KO power, he had defense, he had offense, he had the intelligence that I can go on and on. Michael Jordan, global icon as well, you understand? Um, he made the game of basketball, took it leaps and bounds more than it ever was. You know, from the Nike deals, he made it the business sense, you understand? On and off the floor. On the floor, memorable moments after memorable moments, you can't knock that. I mean, the man defense, offense, you know, his will to win and all this. Mia Hamm, I consider the greatest female soccer player, football player um, ever. This woman, it wasn't just about the goals. It's how she led the team, you know. It's her face. People know, still to this day, I can guarantee you, 
Me a ham, still known. You ask a lot of females why they got in the game. Me a ham. Me a ham. Okay? That's how you know. When somebody is looked to, you know, when somebody is the goal, I want to be like Mike. Um, then I could go Pele, you know, him. Um, what did I say? The greatest. Um, whether you like it, love it, hate it, whatever. The Bible. The Bible. I'm talking about the greatest. The Bible, you know, the impact that it's had, the most sold book by far in human history, um, shaped civilization, shaped societies in some way or another, okay, been most debated since, you know, since its origins, especially in um, the era of Jesus and on, um, and just this and that, you know, I could go on, but when I look at it, you know, I, I mentioned the impact. When I look at the greatest, though, I look at that overall picture, okay? And I mentioned, um, I mentioned Dragon Ball. And Dragon Ball, Dra I mean, Dragon Ball Z. I kind of combine them when I do this. Um, can I and many others consider the greatest anime? Dragon, it's, it's the overall factor. You see, overall factors of stuff I mentioned. Technical, you know, it wasn't the greatest, most technical, um, technical of series. No, 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 no. But it executed enough elements well to at least put it up with the legends, legendary series. I look at, you know, the talent, the talent that uh, Toriyama brought to the table, massive. You know, the writing that it, phenomenal writing in many sense. Even, even though some of the, it, I mean, it became an archetype of of the shonen genre. And you have um, to where also the writing, you know, the world building and, and different elements, you know, this. And I guess I'm going in the skill set, you know, the world built. It became a universe and, and, it, and it opened different reasons. My, they hadn't seen stuff like this before. You understand? Um, and then doggone iconic. Yo. Dragon Ball was arguably the main force of pushing anime. And possibly manga around the world. And that's hands down. The impact that it's had. To this point is still debated and talked about today. I understand there's some that predated. And some that are going on now. But the effect it has had on its genre is incalculable. Incalculable. Um, do I want to. What, what other do I want to. Um, I'll leave, I'll leave it at that because, it, I, like I said, maybe I'll make a part two to this sometime. I don't know. Or however y'all respond to this. Um, I hope this video was somewhat of a clarification. I, I'm sorry if it went a little long for y'all taste. But really, this subject ain't nothing to play with. It's a hard one to really talk to. I had to really think, think, think on this video probably more than most videos. I, I hope y'all have a beautiful day. Peace.